The M4A1, a staple in the Call of Duty Warzone community, and in this Warzone video, I'm going to show you my M4 build. You guys have been asking for it a lot, and in my previous Warzone videos, you're like, that weapon looks really good, what spec is it? I'm going to show you just that. I'm also going to show you some gameplay clips of me using it, just to show you how good it is in actual combat. As you can see right here, it's got no sight on it, but don't worry, I will be giving you a few interchangeable options as well, if you can't stand not having an optic. I'm going to be showing you things that you can change out but personally this right here is what I go to the stats right here are the reason that I use this weapon so much accuracy is amazing range is great and control all put together gives you practically zero recoil sure mobility is not the best but if you're not running the overkill perk which I don't on this loadout you can have a pistol you can whip that out and you're faster on your feet and to be fair you don't really need the mobility as much as you need the low recoil especially if you're going for mid to long range shots because you can do mid range combat with this weapon even though it has no optic first the muzzle is a monolithic suppressor the reason why is because it gives you a bit more accuracy and a little bit more range and i recommend having a suppressor anyway because you don't want to show up on the map every time you fire a shot the other suppressors, they do give you less range and a little bit less accuracy, which you need if you're going to be taking out people in mid-range combat, which in Warzone is a pretty big map, you're probably going to be doing that. Next is the barrel, and it has to be the M16 Grenadier. It gives you good accuracy, good range, and good control. This is pretty much what makes the stats what it is. Every other barrel just reduces that to all hell. Sure, it gives you more mobility, but like I said earlier, you don't want mobility as much as you want low recoil. And then the underbarrel, sure you could not have anything there, but the tactical foregrip gives you great control and improves that recoil to a noticeable difference. If you put them side by side, you will definitely notice a difference having a tactical foregrip under there or not having anything there at all. Now the ammunition I've gone for is 60 round mags. Of course you can go for a 50 round mag if you want slightly more mobility and a teeny teeny bit more control, but these extra 10 round mags, they've saved my life countless times. The 50 round mags do give you a slightly faster reload, which if you're reloading in a tactical situation, say you're getting shot and you need to reload quickly, that will help. But these extra 10 rounds, they have saved my life just in case I get encountered by two teams at once or it's a 3v1, I need them extra 10 rounds to kill without having to reload. Now for my final attachment, I've gone for a laser. The laser I'm using is a TAC laser and it's by far the best laser out of all three of them. It gives you good control, a little bit more mobility and a little bit more accuracy while giving you aim down sight speed, aiming stability and walking steadiness. Now, this laser only comes on when you're aiming down sights, so it won't be on all the time like the 5 megawatt laser. And the 5 megawatt laser isn't as good for control anyway, it gives you slightly more accuracy, but personally, this one is perfect. The 1 megawatt laser, you'll be undetected, it isn't visible to enemies, but it doesn't give you as much as the perks as the TAC laser, so definitely go for the TAC laser if you're going to use a laser. Now, if you can't handle not having an optic, then I would probably swap out your TAC laser and get something maybe like the thermal hybrid because then you've got a thermal sight and a red dot to switch between two. It gives you a little bit more range and more accuracy while reducing your control and mobility just a tad bit. Now if you're going to rock this weapon in your own custom loadouts then the perks I recommend are definitely cold blooded because that will make it a lot harder for people to see you through thermal scopes. Perk 2 I'd recommend Ghost because that will make you undetectable by UAVs, drones and heartbeat sensors which is perfect in sort of the end zones when you're trying to sneak up behind someone without being spotted by their UAVs or heartbeat sensors. And then Perk 3, this is because I don't play much solo Warzone, it reduces the revive time by 25% and that's tune up, but if you do play a lot of solo and you don't really play squads, then maybe get Spotter because that'll allow you to see Claymore's proximity mines and all that through walls and you'll be able to hack them as well. But anyway guys, that's my custom M4 and the loadout that I use along with it. If you guys are using it yourself, let me know what you think of it. I'm now going to show you a few clips of me using this in action just to back up what I've already been saying and just to show you why I use it pretty much all the time. If you want to see anything more like this, then let me know down below in the comments. And of course, this isn't Tarkov, this isn't what I'm used to, but I'm really enjoying it. I appreciate that you guys are accepting that I'm trying to diversify my content, and I'm playing games that I enjoy as well. So if you do want to see more like this, let me know down below in the comments, and enjoy the clips guys. I love you all, stay safe. Went the wrong way. Someone's got someone up there. Parachutist. Parachute. Bitch. Fuck, I know. 
He went to the wrong town. Yeah, you see where they come from as well, so be careful because they're going to be coming from there. They run him. What way? Broken his armor. Our way or okay. that way? Left or oh. right? I saw a bird. He's going right. Going right, so to us. To our way. Yeah. Nope, he's still there, he's shooting me. Okay. There's one running towards you. I got so many people. 10 people. Down. Eliminated. He okay. said where we were. <laughs> got your skin on. Bitch. More bang a limb. He's moving. more left. He's going there. I think He's running towards you. Armor. And push him. I'm, I'm pushing out the log. Got the pistol here. Down to come up. Cool. James, you were nowhere near where he was. James said he's where that pistol was, Sam. <laughs> Lucky I have reflexes like a beaver. There is a box in here somewhere. Oh my god. Someone just went to the buy station and hit them with their armor. Yeah, I got I got someone on heartbeat. 40 meters. Yeah, he's there. He's down. Southeast. Dead. There's two over there as well. There's a guy here. I hit him twice. That's that guy, that's in the mobile. There's a guy there. He's dead, team wipe. Uh, that's good job. Only one shot off your oh. Dead team wipe. I saved your life, Carl. You happy now? Checking his RPG ammo. Has he got any? Sam, do you want to use this fucking. Sniper rifle here. No, I don't. Crossbow, mate. It's a sniper rifle. I'm good. Oh, straight ahead. Downs. Kill confirmed. The guy run behind it. I'm gonna go up the area. roof. You got the armor up to I ain't got any. I ain't got any. James, let us know where he is. I think he ran off. No, he's from behind you. Getting some armor. Armor's broken. Behind us. Downed one, team wipe. Oh. Getting sniped from the team. pub. Getting sniped from the pub. Behind us. Down. I'm down. Get team me up, wipe. get me up, get me up and behind you. They're all dead now. I'm on the shrubbery. <laughs> Doing all of their shrubs. I'll let you two get that, yeah. Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Ready to he's kill in, them? He's in. Oh, I see him. You see him? Yeah. He's literally there. Oh, he's getting he's shot by another one. Let's hope he Two see teams. Him. Why are we? Why are you engaging? I'm not with you. I go down. He's just behind that log. Going shot at. Okay, that you're trying to RPG me. Oh, I died. Go for him, look. Same one. I'd like to thank you all for staying to the end of this video, but before I end it, I want to tell you something about Shadow. Shadow is a company I'm working with to promote Max gaming PC settings anywhere you are. Shadow is a cloud-based subscription service, and currently in Europe, they're offering the ability to pre-order one of their free new tiers of membership, starting at only £12.99. Or if you live in the US, then Shadow continues to offer their regular subscription service for $30 a month. 
You can play any games, max settings, anywhere you are. If you have a broken down PC, a shitty laptop or even a Mac, you can still play games like Tarkov in max settings 1440p 60fps. And this is actually how I record all my gameplay and stream Tarkov at this point in time. So if you liked how the video looked in this video then check out the link in the description and it will take you to Shadow's website. You could do more research there and if you do decide to sign up using the code SAMOSH then you will get a discount on your first month. Thank you everyone for watching, toodle pip cheerio and enjoy your evening lads.